Hi, Stony fam. Good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Hi, welcome back to another episode. I hope you're having a great day. So yeah, today we're going to talk about something that I personally struggle with a lot myself, and I know a lot of people out there, especially people who are listening to, deal with this themselves as well. And this is anxiety. So we, nobody likes this. It sucks. I, we all wish we could just punch anxiety right in the fucking throat, because I really wish that I could sometimes, but I found some really good coping mechanisms to deal with that that don't include cannabis and some that very much do and other forms of other forms of that so i'd like to share all my all my personal things with you guys today and kind of get a little bit more personal with you guys and share my experience with anxiety how i've been dealing with it and all that and then also talk about on the flip side of what other people have experienced and what they can deal with it themselves as well maybe we can help them before i talk about that i want to share with you guys i'm loving the strain that i'm smoking on currently it was recommended to me by one of my coworkers. Love this recommendation, by the way. I've loved a lot of their things by this by this cultivar. Uh, I really do like this strain, especially right now. It's kind of got me a little bit blank and spacey a little bit, but I otherwise enjoy it. It's called Violet Fog. It's a nice indica strain. It's not testing crazily high, but that doesn't really matter. I mean, I, it really doesn't. This one's a really nice, tasty strain, and I just... I'm loving it all around, so shout out to the botanist. But anyway, yeah, let's talk about the crappy thing called anxiety, which a lot of us deal with. So personally speaking, I've been dealing with anxiety from a very young age. I started to get anxious and kind of kind of get those feelings. Now knowing, like hindsight now, back hindsight 2020, now knowing what I was dealing with, I didn't really know what it was back then, but... I, I experienced anxiety from first age about like eight years old and that was around the time usually about when my parents were separated and he, my dad was not around at the time probably in jail I'm not sure <laughs> and my mom was struggling to figure out how to pay the bills and all kinds of other things and instead of really paying attention to being a child I was kind of worrying about things that I shouldn't be worrying about so I started to learn what anxiety was at a very young age and I, I quickly kind of started getting my anxiety getting worse as I got older. But back then it was never really, I never noticed it as physical as well as mental. It was mostly just mental anxiety that I was dealing with. As I got older, when I was about 15, 16 years old, I started to get the physical as well as mental. I was getting sweaty palms a lot. The My heart would be racing. I would have trouble breathing sometimes. And I also was starting to experience panic attacks, which I'd never known what that was until I had have one myself. I didn't really know how exactly to deal with what I was experiencing because I wasn't sure exactly what it was. When I did kind of get my idea around what, what I was dealing with, I I kind of turned to smoking a lot. And back then it was kind, kind of a lot different than it is now. It was a lot harder to, for me anyway, and a lot of people can relate, to know what I was smoking. So there were some times that it was helping a lot and then there were times that it really just didn't. Or if it made it worse. So it was kind of just like a gamble, but sometimes I really did find that there were certain strains that really did help quite a lot. Now, being 2022, you know, having what we have with technology, dispensaries all around, and just different forms of information out there on the internet everywhere for us to find out what we are consuming, it is a lot different versus obviously in the black market and other stuff like that when you don't know. And back then when there really was not anything like that we have today and I hadn't found CBD until I was older I hadn't dabbled in that either as well so I didn't know that that was another form that could help me form of you know cannabis that could help so it really by it I mean anxiety it took a whole toll over my body over my mental health for a very long time and it's still to this day I still deal with it and it's it sucks but I found ways to to kick it back and kind of fight back and ignore it in ways that sometimes I wasn't able to do. And sometimes there's sometimes going to be strains that I've smoked and people have, you know, have smoked themselves that can amplify that anxiety and make it a lot worse. What I'd recommend to do, what helps me anyway, drink lots of water, stay hydrated, of course. You know, you don't want to be on top of that feeling dehydrated and actually be getting dehydrated that that would be very bad so drink lots of water make sure that you're hydrated eating and munching on some snacks usually helps and makes my high go away um even if i'm not so 
so much hungry I, if I'm not feeling nauseous I'll kind of just make myself eat something or if I am not really feeling very great or up to eating anything I have I have insurers that I keep they're very good for a lot of different things and I drink those if I can't kind of just to simplify if I can't eat anything else and I can't chew anything if I'm sh- I'm just gonna drink something so that usually helps or I'll drink a smoothie and just like find whatever gives you your zen you know what calms you the most I for me my dog sitting with my dog if I can if I'm at home if I could be with him sitting on the couch and just kind of turning down all of the noise for me personally when there's a lot of background stuff going on it can amplify my anxiety and make it a lot worse when it already is and by that I mean like outside noise like loud tv or like trucks or you name it stuff like that or people talking music not so much if it's really loud though that can also make me anxious sometimes but I do enjoy music so that too can sometimes help if you have some good tunes that really helps you relax I suggest putting that on or if you're in the mood to watch a movie or if you're in the middle of already watching something you're with you know your friends whatever you're out somewhere and there's something on the tv and you're kind of being forced to watch it hopefully it's not something of the horror variety because sometimes I can make it worse for people I'm kind of I've never really had too much of an issue with it up until maybe the past two years, given just personal stuff that I've dealt with that I don't really feel like sharing right now. But horror movies and stuff like that, I love horror. So it never bothered me, even if I was anxious or high. Uh, If it did start to, I would just remove myself, I guess. But I would suggest doing that if you need to remove yourself from the situation. But if you can, put on, like, a comedy or something that's not going to get your heart racing. You don't want to be watching, like some suspenseful movie that's by that suspenseful I mean like a drama that's involving like gore or anything that's going to freak you out in any way if that stuff doesn't and makes you happy then put it on because I can totally relate and respect that I love that type of stuff too sometimes and it doesn't really bother me I don't find that sometimes movies really do unless they're uh really depressing I find if it's a depressing movie or if it's something that has something that triggers me in it I don't want to watch it I'll stay away from that like I said prior I was talking about CBD so CBD I did not get into until I was older I have tried forms of it up prior to this like when I was younger but I didn't really I didn't really understand it and by it I mean what it did to you what it did to your body how it was good for you and how to really what form I'd like to consume it as and what the forms that I had were not in flower form or any form that I desired I didn't like it I felt like it didn't do anything up until now. I've tried CBD pre-rolls. I've tried a variety of different edibles that have CBD in them or CBD just alone. And I found that they've helped so much with my anxiety. Not even just the THC alone. With having it combined, I found the ratio, the one-on-one, helps me quite a bit. I've also found that I really enjoy the 1906 go pills that they offer they're amazing for giving me just all the energy that i need but not over the amount not overly anxious and energized i'm not really looking for that type of vibe i'm very much of an indica gal i like relaxing but when it comes to my anxiety sometimes i feel like giving it a little bit of extra caffeine sometimes for me helps for me i don't know why it just does but it also has cbd in it as well as some thc it has the 5 milligrams of THC, 5 milligrams of CBD. Balancing that out with some caffeine as well. I feel like that just balances, that great balance just helps me personally. And they have a whole different variety of cannabis pills that will help with different different things. I've tried a couple of theirs. I haven't tried all of them yet. But i found the Go pills are pretty much my everyday go-to. I will take one or two every single day. And they help me quite often. And if there's days that they don't really, I feel like they're not really helping, it's only because I might have personally myself did this and it's my fault, but I'll sometimes over-caffeinate and I'll drink quite too many coffees as well as uh, on top of that. And it can make you a little bit jittery. If you don't mind the jitteriness, whatever, but make sure you're staying hydrated as well. You don't want to be getting dehydrated from drinking too much coffee as well as getting super jittery from all of that caffeine. But if you're really... For me, if I'm feeling really, really stoned lately and I want that to go away or my, I'm really, really anxious and I want that to to surpass, to subside, go away, I will just 
if you have any form of CBD, any pure form of CBD, I would suggest consuming that. That could probably possibly help balance that out if you don't have anything that's a ratio. If you do, consume something like that, something that will kind of balance it out. I wouldn't suggest if you already have consumed quite a lot of THC to add any more on top of that. I would try to balance that out with some more CBD. That's why I say pure CBD. You don't want to you don't want to overdo it more than you already might have if you're feeling like you have. But yeah, guys, that's um that's what I kind of want to talk about today. It's just all the things that have revolve around anxiety, what to do about it, how to help with it. I personally hate that I still to this day deal with it and a lot of people a lot of people do. It sucks. But having healthy and good forms of coping mechanisms and what can help you really makes that a lot easier. I find too for me personally I love drawing. Drawing helps me get out of my get out of that funk and get into my zone and really connect with myself and my personal being and just really take that out and flow it onto paper. And I really do love doing that. And sometimes even when I'm creating something I might be thinking of somebody in mind when I'm creating it or I'll just, it'll come to me afterward. But sometimes I'll feel a nice, I feel good about wanting to give it to somebody else because it reminds me of them and I feel like I I should share my art with other people, not because I want any gratification or any admiration, anything like that. I just want to, if I can't make somebody stay, I'll try to do that. And if it reminds me of them and I, I feel like I should just give it to them. And by reminding me, it doesn't have to be necessarily like, for example, I'm looking at a picture I did of a giraffe smoking a joint. If I gave that to one of my friends, I would not say that they look like a giraffe because I said that that reminds me of them. It's just the vibe, the energy of the drawing. I'm not sure. I don't know. It just reminds me of them. Can't explain it. But that's my best way of trying to do so, I guess. Anyway, guys, I kind of want to wrap this up with with saying this. Despite what we struggle with with having a lot of anxiety, having high functioning anxiety, whether you have that or any form of it. We are strong, badass people, and we are not we are not what we constantly might make us think that we are in the negative aspect of that. We're very intelligent, and sometimes we might break ourselves down on what we struggle with and wish that we didn't, but I feel like, it, if anything, it makes us stronger. So try to hold on to that. And I hope that everything that I talked about today wasn't triggering anyone. I hope that this had possibly helped anybody if it did. And thanks, you guys, for listening. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Thank you guys again for listening. And letting me share how I feel with you guys and what I've dealt with my basically entire existence. As I've gotten older, it's gotten worse, but I found things to help with it. So it's, yeah, it got worse at points, but when I found things to cope with it, I'm feeling a lot better. I do have my days, though, sometimes where my anxiety will come out a lot worse. and It sucks, but, <clears throat> you know, we, we do what we can. We live one day at a time. I know it sounds so cliche, but it's very true. But life is very short, and we got to appreciate every single day that we have. But, yeah, guys, thanks again for listening. And I'm going to hop off, munch on some food myself, because I have not had anything to eat yet, and I'd like some breakfast. I'm thinking some pancakes. I'm very much ready to munch out right now so i'm gonna go do that i'll have the links below for all the information about all the brands that i spoke about if you're interested in giving them a little peek or whatever i'm gonna pop them down below and uh yeah i'll be looking forward to talking to you guys again soon hope you guys have an amazing weekend popping up and try to stay cool with this heat uh that is coming today is i have not stepped outside yet but i'm not gonna like it when i do it's supposed to be very 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 hot today so where I am anyway, and I've seen quite a lot of heat advisories going around, so I hope you guys all stay hydrated, stay cool, stay high, and have a great day.